um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm with Inmarsat, and I'm here to talk a little bit about um, satellite M2M and what Inmarsat are doing in the M2M space to help. To Is that any better? So, talking about uh, satellite M2M, there are a lot of. Um, Thank you. There are, in terms of the value proposition for satellite M2M, it, we tend to focus a lot on, you know, we've got the single network, uh, there's no roaming costs compared to a cellular network. Uh, these satellites are expensive to deploy, therefore we put a lot of time and effort into making them future-proof between uh, different generations of satellite, and we are just about to launch another generation of satellite uh, end of this year, early next year which will be the fifth generation uh, deploying what we call our Global Express platform, and M2M will specifically sit on the current generation of satellites. So, you know, things like availability and security, all key kind of uh, um, aspects and attributes of a satellite network. Um, and typically it's positioned as, well, you know, you would use a satellite network whenever you can get cellular, which is true. Um, but, you know, I'm hearing a lot of uh, things today around you know, if we're going to make the Internet of Things become a reality, then we have to be looking at, you know, uh, seamless coverage, different types of wireless technologies, cost points coming down to, you know, a few dollars per module instead of, you know, where, where they're at today. And, you know, for sure, satellite has got some way to go to get to that point. Uh, but we're working on that. And the important thing, I think, to bear in mind about satellite is that, you know, all of those attributes kind of position us and give a, a, a perception that um, satellite M2M is predominantly uh, sitting within a few sort of niche um, market areas, you know, so things like utilities and oil and gas and environmental retail banking, stuff like that, but all sort of uh, applications where it's remote, where the equipment is fairly large in size due to the, uh, the link budget uh, restrictions. And the, the cost of deploying that service is a premium. And, and, and to a large extent, that is true. Um, that is the case. But we within Inmarsat recognize that you know, we've got to change. And if we want to move with everyone else towards the Internet of Things, then we're going to have to go on that journey to get there. And, and there's a lot of stuff that we're doing around that today. And it basically comes down to the fact that the satellite network, is, it's a 3G network. It's not a proprietary separate uh, type of technology. It is a 3GPP standard compliant network, and we can run IP services over that in much the same way that you do for standard M2M uh, applications today. The difference being that, yes, there are, there, there are different uh, hardware, different RF characteristics, and we have to you know, do, do certain unique things with that. But saying that, you know, if, if we're going to succeed and we're going to be a part of this uh, IoT story, then we've got, to, we've got to put the effort into changing that equation. And, and what we're doing is, you know, we're looking at our role within the, the value chain. And, and the satellite value chain and the, and the, the sort of mainstream M2M value chain, are, they're very similar. You know, we're, we're, we're trying to do the same thing. We're, by and large, working with the same suppliers and partners in that ecosystem to make that work. But the difference in satellite is, unlike cellular, which is a fairly, I wouldn't say loosely integrated system, but it's, 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 it's a, a value chain where there are many, many players. The, the volumes are so much higher, the economies of scale are so much better that you know, we are looking at modem costs that typically come in the sort of 20 to $30 range for uh, a cellular modem an airtime that's uh, typically uh, a lot less than, than a, a satellite network. Now, clearly, to get to the Internet of Things, we, everybody needs to drive those costs down, and we've got a bigger job to do than, than probably anybody else. And to do that, we're doing a number of, of, of things. We're, we're going to loosen up that uh, uh, ecosystem, if you will. We're going to make it easier for people to get on board with us. So you know, we in Marsat, know clearly where we sit within that, that value chain. We are a network operator. We're not trying to be into the big data side of things. We're not trying to sort of move to, the, to, to that end of the value chain. 
There are people that do that so much better than us, and, and, and we would be foolish to try and do that. But what we do very well is that we, we, we have, for 30 some odd years, uh, managed a satellite, a satellite network and deployed several different generations of that. So we're going to focus on what we do best, and we're going to partner with, with those who, who, who can fill those gaps. And those gaps typically come more at the, at the edge of the network. So things like uh, terminal development, things like service provisioning uh, and value-added services, we, we have traditionally sat to the side of all of that. And we're going to change that now. So number one, we're going to move uh, the development of the uh, edge access uh, equipment uh, out there. And we've recently uh, announced a number of partnerships, one of which is Orbcom, um, where we will work together to try and, and, and bring those hybrid devices down to, to a much, much cheaper level. But that's only part of the equation. Uh, we're also looking at um, partners with value-added resellers or uh, MVNOs, service providers in the space who have got much more experience and capabilities of managing M2M customers and applications, and, and, and they're on that journey towards the, uh, to, 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 to IoT. So we want to work with those guys uh, and go on that journey together. So we've announced recently a, a, a partnership with um, Stream Communications, which is an M2M service provider. And today we've just announced um, another partnership with Core Telematics in North America. Uh, and we have a number of other partnerships that are waiting um, to develop. And, and, and that's what we see. You know, by bringing the strengths of, of the, the different players in the ecosystem together, we're going to stand a much more better chance. And I do agree, a couple of comments were made, uh, not only in terms of getting the cost of modules and, and the size of modules down, but you know, um, looking at things like even SIM-based connectivity. You know, I, I agree. I think going forward into the future, we need to be looking at you know, wireless just has to be easy. It's got to be uh, not like it is today. It's difficult today, and specifically on satellite, it's difficult. It's got to be a case where you, know, you can literally deploy a module anywhere, and it will find the right, the right uh, wireless means of communication. And that's a big journey for us. It's a big, it's a big uh, change in the mindset for, the, for, for, for this company, but we're committed to doing it. And so when we look at what that's going to look like, as I said, it's seamless wireless coverage. The chipsets, we, we have got a roadmap where we're going to get those chipsets down. It's going to take time. Um, we're going to try and do it as, as fast as we can. But it's really a chicken and egg thing. You know, it's all about volume and it's all about economies of scale. And we've got the same, we've got more challenges in many ways than, than some other technologies in terms of link budgets. You know, you just look at the equipment that, that, we're, that we're using today. You know, you're not going to have a wearable um, device, you know, with a satellite dish on your head. It just isn't going to work. But we can get it down to, you know, a, a, a chipset um, size that's uh, easier to deploy and it's easier to set up and it's easier to manage. And by using the partners, and I think that's what it's all about in the ecosystem, and it's been touched upon earlier today. Nobody's going to do this by themselves. It, it really is it's going to take a lot of cooperation. It's going to take a lot of um, pooling of, of ideas and resources uh, to, to, to make this work. And so we're, we're committed to that journey. And, and the roadmap that we have, you know, looking at the, the scale in this is very difficult to see, but you know, looking at the left-hand side, our current products, and this is pretty much the same for most satellite-type M2M applications, they're big. You know, you're looking at something the size of a couple of laptops put together in terms of a terminal. And you know, clearly, that, that, that's fine for certain applications. And there, and there are certain um, uh, environments and applications where that, that is totally acceptable. But they tend to be fixed or semi-mobile. What we're looking at in the long term is, is the chipset roadmap, where we get down to that, that, that sort of size. And we're looking at around sort of two to three years to do that. In the meantime, um, within the next three to six months, we will have other devices coming to the market through, through other partners we're working with, which is a, an SDR waveform, which is roughly probably about the size of an iPhone. And that will have a software development kit and the various interfaces to that. Uh, which will enable testing to be done, and, and, and hopefully that by the, by the time you get to this sort of far right-hand side, that the technology will be well understood. 
Um, antennas are, are always an issue for, for, for satellite. Um, and at the moment, we are working with partners to develop a small and omni antenna as we can get so we can make this truly, truly mobile. And we're looking at probably in the same sort of time scales as the, the, the SDR waveform and, and SDK kit, something about this, you know, not much bigger than a, you know, than, than a, than a, a grapefruit, sort of half a grapefruit sort of size. And that, you know, will help um, with deployment of, of, of applications along the way. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got to say. Thank you. <laughs>